Hey! What's hey, happening? Hey, trying to scare everybody? Hey, everybody! Woohoo! Welcome to Press Start TV. Uh, this episode, we're going to talk about the holiday season. Who has the edge this holiday season? We'll be talking about that. Um, a lot of different things, games coming out. We'll have our response to Tony Hawk. Uh, games being rushed in, that kind of thing. And two games that we'll pick for this holiday season, in our opinion, that you should definitely buy. Uh, so we have all that for you today. My name's Will. This is Mr. Gage. Hi. This is Mr. Nine. Yo. I said it to you. Um, so. Okay. <laughs> Let's talk about this. Uh, the holiday season, who has the edge? Nine, I'll start with you. Um, any ideas on this? I mean, we've I talked about this a little bit. to say this. <laughs> I Wait really a minute, you hate another segment? I hate to say this. But Xbox has definitely got the edge this holiday season. Why? They've got. I can't even. Other than Tomb Raider, many, I can't. Well, they've got Tomb Raider. I understand. Yeah. They've got the backwards compatibility, like going into full stock now. November. It's a big deal. Um, that's a huge mover for a lot of like old console gamers. And got some make, pricey and options, but might be cool um, with the, the controller coming out. A ridiculous amount of bundles. Yeah. Coming out with okay. games. Console and stuff. wise. Yeah. yeah, I mean, some of them come with more than one game. Some of them come with three games. Yeah. It's just ridiculous. Plus, they have the most exclusives launching this fall, I believe, right? I think, if, te if you want to get technical, I think Wii U's got the most exclusives just because it's the Wii U. Well, but that's all, yeah. That's no reason. I know, but like, because well, no one n no one puts their games on Nintendo, and Nintendo doesn't branch out. Uh, but so, yeah, so how Nintendo is Nintendo going to fare this holiday season, do you think? Mm, nah, I mean, they, Yoshi's Woolly World's out. Uh, Which is gorgeous. It's a great game. Fatal Frame out soon. Can't wait to play that actually. And Mario Tennis launches next month. So excited about that. There you, you know go. How you feel about the Mario <laughs> sports games? They're not good. Oh, dude. <laughs> okay, all right, I here disagree. Mario I Tennis. respectfully disagree. He Mario has this vendetta against Mario. Mario Tennis comes out next month. We've seen one trailer, four characters. We found out Luigi was in the game because of the box art. There's nothing about this game. By the way, they're keeping this game off the airways. For whatever reason, it's not good. If any of you are, are following our, our content and our Nine and I's strong opinion about how great Mario 64 is, watch our Total Biscuit interview from Battlegrounds. Go back and watch that. It's I need great. To finish watching it. You, you should finish watching it. It's pretty good. Anyway, uh, that settles settles that case. But uh, <laughs> Mario, I had on the Mario 64 on the 64 Mario Tennis. I had some great memories. Oh, a lot dude, of people getting together. Lot, having, oh man. What yeah. Well, okay. You can't always recreate that kind of. I hope they nostalgia. do. I hope they do. We'll see. Uh, anyway, so Gage, I'll go to go to you. In your opinion, who has the edge this holiday season? I, I think it's Xbox, and I think it's because the bundles they have coming out this season. I um, I think it's uh, the backwards compatibility is a big thing that's going to get a lot of people to jump from deal, 360 man. to Xbox One who haven't right. yet. Halo Five is far and away better than any exclusive that's coming away coming out on Huge PlayStation. Game. Uh, unless there you are no exclusives coming out. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> uh, of course, they have the Tomb Raider rights, and then just uh, Forza's out. Also, you know, the best racing game this holiday season is on Xbox only. Um, past that, uh, all your third-party stuff. I, I just think Xbox has got it. I think everything you want from the holiday season this year, you can get it on Xbox. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's hard to argue. What, what bundles? You, both of you mentioned the bundles. What bundles do they have coming out? So they've got a Fallout 4 one. Rise of the Tomb Raider. Yep, Tomb Raider with both Tomb Raider games. There's a Fallout yeah. 4 console. Not, there's not, it's not, it's not a special console, digital it's a bundle. It's the Fallout 4 comes with a built. terabyte okay. console with the Yeah, game for like 350, I think. By the way, real quick, you're watching and listening to Press Start TV. I'm Will, this is Nine, this is Gage. Nine, still here. All right, go ahead. Um, there's a, there's a, the Kinect bundle, uh, which is an Xbox with Kinect uh, <coughs> and three Kinect games. There's a Gears of War bundle. There's a Halo that's 5 out. bundle. That's, that's been out for a while. Uh, okay. There's another Gears of War bundle coming. Okay. Uh, and I think this one comes with... Comes Gears with Gears War, 3. And you can get NBA 2K16 with it. And yeah, the NBA 2K16. Uh, the Halo bundle. Uh, there's another one. There's one with, like, there's a Lego one. Yep. <laughs> there's. I mean, there's a lot. I think there's, there's another one I'm I mean, forgetting, too. Sony's also got a lot of bundles coming as well. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but not that. Not, not like that eight. many. They got the Destiny right. bundle. They got the Battlefront bundle. Um, Black Ops bundle. Black Ops. Um, I mean, but those are also cons those are consoles that are. Well, uh, for, in your opinion, who's winning the holiday season? Me, um, you know, I would probably also give the slight edge to to Microsoft. I do think that Sony's plan to lower a lot of their game, their bigger games like Bloodborne. I think uh, I Bloodborne uh, like during and a lot uh, of their games just took a price cut. A lot of the games are just cuts. taking a mass price, but those are amazing exclusive <laughs> titles that people can get for cheap and good experiences for those who haven't played. So, Blood and and they do have some some good console bundles. Games wise, they do. I mean, the Uncharted Collection is great. Uh, Nintendo, they do have some good stuff. I mean, they, they've got their their titles. Is it worth? <laughs> is it must go out and get? 
the none of those titles that are yet to come out are console sellers. The console seller already Star came Fox. out. Yeah, Star Fox. They're, and their they're shining moment for the holiday season is not even. Yeah, no Star Fox, anymore. no Zelda, unfortunately. But, you know, Yoshi is a great game. It's a great, fun game. Of course, Smash Brothers and all that kind of stuff. Most people have already bought because of that. And the Kirby game's already out, too, right? But mm -hmm. I also think the, the accessories for uh, Microsoft, the new controller, would be interesting to see how. Uh, much people adapt that, or how much they go out and buy. It's I'm interested to see bucks. the sales figures on that when it comes out. They also have a bundle the that elite. features that bundle, new yeah, controller the elite bundle. as well. But uh, you know, five hundred dollar console bundle worth it. Are, are, are people going to go out and and buy spend one hundred fifty dollars on a controller because they feel like they're going to get an edge? Probably. Some gamers will. Yeah. I think people just want a reliable controller. Also, this seems like a controller that will last. And it's first party. Yeah. Versus the it's, scuff it's controllers and all the other controller. black market or black market. Black market <laughs> controllers. That's mad cat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're just kidding. No, mad guys. Um, oh, no, love you. No, um, third party manufacturers making these competitive controllers. This sure. is a first party. Yeah, first party product which will be guaranteed to work with your system. Yeah, with that first party product. And it will have a warranty and, you know, sure. interchangeable parts that you can buy at any game store Pretty across good stuff. the country. Pretty you don't awesome. have to wait for shipping on it. You just go to the store and pick it up. So you can customize this is it however you'd like. Controllers. Well, I hope so. I mean, it, it's a little pricey, I gotta say. I, I probably. Well, it's a little pricey, a little, but you're I mean, getting a lot but for But the it. third party ones are even more pricey. They're 200 bucks. They're 200, 300 like the scuff, dollars. Yeah. Scuff, controller. scuff and stuff, yeah. they're two, three hundred dollar controllers. And you mentioned Halo. I mean, Halo, uh, this this particular Halo looks great. I know you guys played Warzone at I'm E3. I'm really excited. I about watched this. that whole I thing go down. A lot of getting the vapors just thinking about it. Yeah. But, you know, a big, big title for the holiday season. But uh, we'll see how it all goes down. Um, I know Sony, we talked about in the last episode, price dropped some of their consoles, so we'll see how it all plays out. But just buy whatever you want. I mean, I'm sure you guys will pick up whatever you'd like, but uh, a lot of choices uh, for you out there. Uh, we're going to have more for you right after this. Hey, what's happening? Welcome back. We were just talking about who had the edge this holiday season, and we all kind of thought that Microsoft had the slight edge, so go back and listen to that. It was a good, great conversation. Anyway, uh, <laughs> question for you guys and all of you out there. Why are we seeing so many broken titles? So games that are either not done right, there's too many glitches, there's games that are being rushed to the market. What, what's the point? I mean, we talked about this in the last show as well, the, the Far Cry game i mean five months is is a very short time granted we don't know how much development it actually we, we has. don't but i mean they if they're just like not had room if, for it at their e3 lineup and if they're claiming five months mo we know most games take two three years maybe in development some games like <laughs> last guardian because and other games are like forever because of obstacles but we're seeing a lot of games that are that are broken is, and being rushed is one of them right yeah absolutely tony, tony hawk is so it's Tony bad. Hawk Pro it's Skater bad. 5 came out. Um, it's a disappointment. Yeah, it, it, I, I got The agree. patch was bigger than the entire game itself. Right, by three um, games. But that set aside, that's the one like mystery in the That's one in instance, the and I think the, the Tony Hawk thing is because, and we talked about this on the checkpoint, is Activision had a contract with Tony Hawk through 2015. So this was their last year of the contract. They had to push out another game this year. Right, and it's just like movie companies trying to hold on to licenses just by pushing out a film, yeah. whether it's good or bad, and I just keeping the title. Can't stand it. I, I don't like it. I mean, the early Tony Hawk <laughs> games were amazing. Um, the, I, in my opinion, Ride and Shred, and and now this one. That was Downhill Jam. Not very good. Oh, that yeah. was. Ugh. But a lot of the Tony Hawk games were good and and deserving of everything up through Underground was great. Was great. Yeah, I, I like totally. American Wasteland. I did not. Oh, that was that was good too. That's I, where it started to like. But again, I mean, it's like he's there. deserving of a title that's supportive of his legacy and and those older games. People are probably expecting that same experience. They've been playing these earlier games, and now they get this thing, and it's just like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Why did someone sell me hot garbage? Like, <laughs> yeah. I think a lot of the problem too with so many broken games is companies like EA, Ubisoft, Activision, and you know all these big AAA developers want to keep annualization a thing right. because they want to keep their customers happy with a new game every year. I don't need a new game every year. I want a good game that's going to last me and keep me interested sure. until you finish properly right. the next game. If it takes you two years, if it takes you three years, whatever. In my opinion, uh, a great skateboarding game is up for grabs. I mean, anybody who drops oh, yeah. one is going to get that market. Well, and where's skate? 
Man, a game like that. Like a game like that. Years, but when that, that game came out, it was kind of like, bam. Every, Skate you know. 3 came out. It was awesome. <laughs> so. I want I, Thrasher back. Yeah, I think the problem <laughs> with broken games is I think too many companies are over-promising things. That, I think yeah. they're, that's, uh, release dates are too early, uh, not enough development time. Sure. First of all, I think they're over-promising. I think they're working too hard on the hardware they're given. Mm. I think they're trying to do too many new things to bring in like new, new players to get a new edge on the competition. It's not working out. How many games have you played where there's been a new feature that you just totally disregarded because it didn't seem like it was supposed to be in your game? How many games had a feature that just was broken completely because they tried to add it in and like when it didn't work, it was like, well, that's the worst thing that's ever happened in the world. I can't believe I paid for this. GTA yeah. Online. Sure. Okay. Stuff like, I mean, Battlefield 4 launching. Oh, yeah, that, that was, that's, a good, that's a better example. Right. Master uh, Chief Collection. <laughs> trying yeah, to do too a, much. There's a great too example. Too much. Yeah. Calm down, everybody. You're watching, listening to Press Start TV. I'm Will. This is Gage. Hi. This is Nye. Yo. Um, so, uh, yeah, I mean, you, and nobody wants to play a terrible game. They'd rather wait for the game, as you pointed out, to be great. You know, you can take the extra time. A lot of gamers don't mind waiting if the end product's good. I mean, if Fallout 4 comes out and it's terrible, whew. Oh, man, the internet is going to go <laughs> ballistic. Could you imagine? I mean, uh, but they've taken their time. They did it right. Bethesda right? knows how to launch games. I mean, their trademark is kind of there's always a glitch in their game, sure. but it's usually something stupid and funny, like the chicken glitch in Skyrim. Sure. It is hilarious. Right. It's almost like intentional. <laughs> they, I mean, they left it in because it's so funny. Uh, and then you get stuff where, you know, you dive underwater and your game crashes. That's not a good glitch to have. Right. It does happen. But, and glitches happen a lot. I mean, glitches but I mean, happen in almost every game. Yeah. But in a case where you're trying to do too much, this in the developmental process, and you still release it, it could be detrimental to the game as a whole. Yeah. Which means the sales are going to go down, your ratings are going to go down, your critic, you know, your critics are just going to bash it, and then all of a sudden, what you're we're projecting for yep. sales. You know, has the exactly, floor, so. and people are going to remember. Uh, people are going to remember Tony Hawk for Tony exactly. Hawk Five. Exactly. And going forward, Tony Hawk Five is going to be especially the generation of like young kids. Yeah. Who this just is their now first Tony Hawk game. games, and this is their first Tony Hawk game. They're like, oh, those games are terrible. Yeah. yeah. No, because they didn't play the original ones, which were awesome. Right. That's what I'm saying. <coughs> a broken game can do so much for a company. Just they're so terrible. It can break a company. Yeah. In a heartbeat. Yeah, it can. So if Battlefront's front. not ready. Mm -hmm. Do you wait for it to be fixed and have them push it back? Yes. I'd rather I'd, I I welcome delays if they need to do something with the games. If they if something needs to be fixed, if something needs to be added, if something's not working right, delay your game. I do not mind waiting another month. There's plenty of stuff to play. Yeah. There's and if always you, games to play. Oh, there's I, I agree a with really that. a really crowded holiday season we have in November. Push your game back. I agree with that because I think fans will want it to be to do it justice. Absolutely. I don't have any I, problem in the world waiting for a game to come out. Because but then you got like your Duke Nukem situation. That is an over exaggeration. That's, that's a little different. That that is totally <laughs> they, they different. They weren't working on the game for. Four <laughs> I'm thinking years. more like Half Life Two, where it took like okay. six years yeah, for Half Life sure. Two to come out because, you know, it just kept getting delayed. Or and they're just like, you know what? We'll tell you when it's ready. Well, again, that's, that's another ex extreme example because that's Switch Studios and it was just it's Switch consoles. <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah. There was a whole console change in there. Jeez. <laughs> there was like three console changes. <laughs> kind of. But the last thing we want to play is a game that has glitches in it, right? So, I mean, or is I don't it, know. Some games are fun with glitches. Glitches. I, I'd rather have no glitches. If I could have a choice between glitches or some glitches, I would say no. A lot of games save your progress so quickly now that even if a game does glitch out and you do have to start over, you're not losing a whole lot. Yeah, but lot. Then some glitches yeah. completely erase your save file. That does There's happen. that kind of thing. Like The Witcher. Like Metal Gear. Or Metal yeah. Gear. And when those are huge games, when your game gets erased on that, it's like, and especially I never when you get want to play this again. And it's right. the end of the game. Well, broken games are no good. Delayed if you got to. That's the message. When we get back, we're going to pick two, holiday, two games each for this holiday season right after this. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. Uh, we were talking about broken games. They're no good. Don't settle for anything less than awesome. Uh, and your game. Mario 64. Great game. It's not that good. Uh, and, and we gave the slight edge <laughs> to, to Microsoft wages. this holiday season, but there are so many games coming out this holiday season, we're each going to pick <coughs> two games we think you should buy. And I'll start off by saying some games that should be on right. everybody's radar. I guess radar. the idea for the segment is if you're on a budget this holiday season. 
And you had to and be too. And there's a ton of stuff sure. coming out. Here we go. So I'll go through the list. I'll go through, you know, Lego Dimensions should be on there. Skylanders is on there. Point in case Lego Dimensions is $100. Yeah. Need for Speed, Rock Band 4, Halo 5, Fallout 4, Black Ops 3, Star Wars Battlefront, Just Cause 3, Rainbow Six Siege, Assassin's Creed, Syndicate, Uncharted Collection, Guitar Hero. There are a lot of choices. Yes, absolutely. There's a lot, a lot of and there's even more coming out. That's Yoshi's not on the list. should probably be on there, right? I mean, Fatal Frame's coming out. Fatal I mean, Frame. Mario Maker's already out. I mean, Great a game. Mario Maker's still doing really well. Too, absolutely. Metal Gear is technically going to be a popular yep. fall popular title, or holiday title. Sure. Sure. So <laughs> you're on a budget and just disregard how, what consoles that you have at home. Konami says it's game of the year. Huh? Konami says it's game of the year. Konami doesn't have anything it. straight at their company right now. So Although it's definitely anything. a contender, I will say it's an amazing game. It's a great game. Um, okay, so I'll start with Gage. I'll start okay. with you. Uh, let's, let's hear one of your games that, out of all of these great choices, if you're going to tell and recommend to the people of the world, I have to pick two. You, can you have only to pick, pick two. two. I, want, I, want to hear, I want to hear one from you right now. And price isn't an object. I'm picking. Fallout 4. Okay. You stole mine. Yeah, well, I think all three okay, of well, Fallout 4. You, that's on your list, too. That's huh? on my list. That's, that is an absolute must buy. I think you're going to get the season. most bang for your buck with Fallout 4 this whole <laughs> season. I think this is the game that you're going to be able to play. Like, if you have, you have a Saturday by yourself, your wife's, not, your wife's out of town, you know, you just, you're sitting at home in front of the TV, sitting in your underwear or whatever, what are you going to play? I'm going to play Fallout 4 for 14 hours a day. That's one yeah. of these games, and you're gonna love it. You're gonna yeah, have so much and then fun. Doing that it. should get you out of character creation, and then there. And then, you and then yeah. you get to play, and then you get to start. <laughs> yeah. So Fallout 4 is definitely on that list for me. You know, I, I, I can't I can't really argue with you. I, I got to add it on mine as well, and I, I agree with you. I mean, that I was remember my number one buy. Like, I have if I have to buy any other game, if I'm only limited to one game, Fallout 4. Like, right. that's you guys my have game probably seen the videos. I remember sitting at E3 <laughs> going. This is going to suck up so many people's time, so many oh, hours yeah. of gameplay. It's going to be crazy. A lot of bang for your buck there, a Absolutely. lot of gameplay. Um, Fallout 4 is all of our lists, so we're all on the same page there. We recommend Fallout 4. Okay. Three for three. We did give that game of the show this year's E3, by the way. Yeah. yeah. Which if I had to pick, that's probably going to be game of the year. I think it, between that and Metal Gear, I, you might throw Battlefront in that conversation. We'll see. I don't think Battlefront. Maybe Halo I'm 5. I'm really excited for Battlefront. I don't think Battlefront. Call, Call of Duty's Battlefront. gonna be good. I, I think Halo 5, Call of Duty, Battlefront, Fallout <laughs> 4, and Metal Gear. That's a totally different show, though. We got yeah. plenty of time talking about that. Yeah, we got until December to figure that list out. Yep. All right, nine. I'm gonna start with you for game number two. Um, so game is all of our first two. game Fallout 4, though? Yeah, it okay. is. All of us is Fallout 4. Okay. I think we got to pick three on there. That's a little lame. Okay, take Fallout 4 off the list. If you got to buy Fallout 4, Fallout it's going to be amazing. No like, that's just a no-brainer. Okay, let's start over. Okay, we'll, Fallout we'll, 4 is off the list. By the way, you're listening to Press Start TV and watching Press Start TV. My name's Will. This is Gage. Hi. This is Nine. Yo. Okay, Gage, we'll do, we'll do three games. Fallout 4 is on all sure. of our lists. It's a guaranteed buy. Game number two. Gage, go ahead. Uh, I'm going to say Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm really invested in Assassin's Creed. I love it. Um, this one looks super interesting. This to one me. looks cool. I, I like the dynamic of having two characters: one who's brutal, one who's stealthy. I, I'm really interested in this, and I sure. like the setting. I love the settings for these games. I love the gameplay. As long as it's not super broken, I'm, this is a, a definite buy for me. I like a good choice. Uh, now, what do you got? I think both my other games is each one of your all's games. Okay, go ahead. Uh, so I'll just go with Tomb Raider. Okay, Tomb Raider. Tomb Raider. Yeah. Sure. Love and the Tomb Raider franchise, the new Tomb Raider franchise. The new one looks really good. It looks so good. It looks really, really good. Now, I don't have an Xbox, but if I did, that would definitely <laughs> That's be on, your list. on, your on list. my list. Not a bad choice. Uh, for me, I'm going to have to go with Star Wars Battlefront. Okay. Um, I think, fair. Super fair. I, I think it should be on there. I think a lot of... There's a lot of Star Wars fans out there. I think it's a game worth picking up, and if you want to get soaked in that universe, there you go. Uh, uh, Gage, let's go with game number three. Halo 5. Halo 5. Halo 5, uh, tons of story there for me, because uh, I'm really invested in Halo, Halo lore, Halo story, so you know, I finish up or continue on the story of Halo. Let me ask you a question. You played all the Halo games. Yes. Was the story in Halo 4 good? I liked it. I enjoyed it. Did not like it. I didn't, I didn't like, like the boss it. fight. I don't it, like it. A lot of people don't like it. A lot of people don't like it. I thought it was fine. I thought the Prometheans were great, too. Uh, great. Anyway, uh, also along with Halo 5, great multiplayer. Yeah, and that's going to keep yeah, me coming solid, back solid to Halo Five. Player. So I, I think uh, as long as it works, Halo Five's a great choice. We talked about this earlier. Um, exclusive title to Microsoft, but you know, 
I think a great campaign. I think mm -hmm. you're going to get a great campaign out of this one. Mm -hmm. A lot of what a lot of people were probably expecting from Halo 4, you'll get oh, out yeah. of Halo 5 and Warzone and the whole multiplayer thing. It's a great choice. Yeah, well, from what I'm hearing right now, is you're going to get your biggest campaign, your best multiplayer, and your best uh, level of Forge out of Halo 5. So biggest I think this is the best Forge. Yeah, this is what Halo 5 is one. Nine. What do you got? Black Ops 3. Yeah, that's my last one. And, and I'll say all because the same stuff. Zombies. You've got you got zombies. You got a campaign. You've got a great multiplayer. You got split screen campaign. Finally, yep. a lot of people were begging for that. Yep. This is a great. That's a great buy. Yeah, I mean, there's no wrong choices so far. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Um, oh, that's got four player offline and two player online. Yeah. Yeah. Split screen on the same console, mm -hmm. which is awesome. Yes. You don't see that too often anymore. No. As much as I, I would love to play <laughs> the Uncharted collection or even Metal Gear, um, uh, I, also the Destiny Taken King uh, is good if you haven't gone that. You get Destiny, both expansions, plus the Taken King is a good buy. It's a lot of fun for uh, people that want to get in that. The raid's good. I'm also going to go with Black Ops 3, though. Great, um, great pick. I mean, so uh, it, it, again, <laughs> campaign, co op, split screen. It's got screen, everything, man. Zombies, you just want it for zombies. Campaign for zombies. All you're going to play is zombies. Just admit it. I, I won't. I'll go through oh. all of it. Dead Ops Arcade 2. And you got that. Plus, you've got That's, the, dude, the multiplayer. I had more games. fun with that than any other that zombie. It was fun. It was so fun. It's, it's so weirdly fun. <laughs> all right, so what were your three again? Fallout 4, Halo 5, and Assassin's Creed Syndicate. What Fallout 4, Tomb Raider, and Black Ops 3. I have Fallout 4, Black Ops 3, and Star Wars Battlefront. Uh, so those are our choices for games that you have to pick up if you're on a budget. Uh, just set aside money for Fallout 4. You know you want to get it. Yeah. Just, anyway, that's, that's the exception. Just check lie. us out on PressStartTV.com. You can find all of our content. <laughs> Thank you so much, as always, for joining us. We very much appreciate it. Until next time, we'll see you. Bye. Later.